President, please be seated. Le President, veuillez vous asseoir. The Chamber now is back in session. And the floor is given to the co prosecutor to resume questioning to the witness. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, earlier, I read out to you an excerpt from your own statement, uh, and it ended as follows uh, in English. We arrested and interrogated them. We released the refugees. If they did not answer our questions si and tried to hide their identity, we would send them to our security office. On les envoyait à notre bureau de sécurité. Sur les différents now, regarding the different vessels patrolling uh, around the islands, were there any Vietnamese interpreters that uh, could interrogate people who uh, had been arrested? At each vessel station at various islands, there Sur were no interpreters. Postée, Some of the vessels did not go out to carry out their mission. Certains des navires n'allaient faisaient pas de sortie pour exécuter Out of la mission. the ten vessels, we stationed at two main locations. One was at deux endroits principaux. Ocho Til and another one at Koh Rung San Lam. À Ocho Til et l'autre c'était à Koh Rung San Lam. If there were no interpreters on the boats, then Wasn't it obvious that the Vietnamese who had been arrested would not be able to answer the questions that were put to them? And you said that in this case, they would be sent to the security office. Based on my statement with the document sent Center of Cambodia, Après ce que j'ai dit au centre de documentation du Cambodge, et j'ai déjà répondu plus tôt, that the information I received, l'information que j'avais reçue, that there were no interpreters on the vessels because. Il n'y avait pas d'interprètes sur les navires. Uh, it was not the task of the, each vessel, it was the task in charge La by the division level. Tâche n'était pas du ressort des bateaux, des navires, mais bien so du niveau de la division. So, people on the vessels were not aware of those matters. Et les personnes, enfin les équipages des navires n'étaient pas au courant de ces questions. Fine. You said just before, before the break, that you personally had not stopped any Vietnamese Vietnam vessels during the two years that you were a captain on a vessel. However, in the excerpt that you read, that I read out, each time you used uh, uh, the personal pronoun I or we, you said that when I went to check, they were Vietnamese ships, for example. We arrested them. We arrested the crew and interrogated them. So why did you use I and we if it wasn't you uh, 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 who uh, was involved? Regarding the word I and we, Je et that nous. I go to the documentation centers in my interview with Long Dani. I used the word I. Centre de documentation du Cambodge, j'ai employé le pronom je. And when I used the word we, I referred nous, to the soldiers stationed at various locations. Je faisais référence aux différents endroits. So when I refer to I, in my interview with Long Dani, I refer to myself. Je But je, when je I use the word we, I refer nous, to various soldiers. 
based at different locations. Hier, j'ai cru comprendre. Yesterday, I believe I understood that you said that uh, refugees who had been arrested at sea or who had been intercepted at sea had been released. And now you're telling us that there were no interpreters on board. And it, and therefore it was necessary to send them uh, ashore to interrogate them. So how did you learn then that refugees had apparently been released? If it wasn't you who was involved, were colleagues involved of yours and the refugees were released? So how did you learn uh, about this? In my statement that I gave during my interview, I spoke based on the information that I received from the regiment and from the radio broadcast. What I told was not my was not about my personal responsibility. Responsibility personnel. Because I have my responsibility was to train how to use the new ships that were delivered from the upper echelon to our to us. À, uh, se servir des bateaux, des navires, enfin des équipements qui l'échelon que l'échelon supérieur nous avait donné. Now, regarding the communication issues with the Vietnamese who were arrested by or intercepted by your colleagues, were there Vietnamese people who were arrested who pretended to be deaf and dumb? And in that case, what would happen to them? Is this comparable to the situation you already described, or did something else happen? I do not understand your question. Are you referring to the Vietnamese or are you asking me as a witness? No, witness. Among the Vietnamese people who were arrested on the vessel by your colleagues, and you also talked about what you heard on the radio. So my question was, were there any Vietnamese who pretended to be deaf and dumb, and therefore who would pretend not to understand anything, and who also pretended not to be able to speak? As I told you earlier, regarding that matter, it is not under my responsibility, so I was not aware of it. Because, as I told you, I had a different responsibility. My main responsibility was to maintain maintain and use the vessels to ensure that the vessel is ready for combat when there was an encroachment from the enemy. Fine, but you said that your navire, main task was to patrol around the islands. That's what you told us yesterday, and I'm basing myself only on what you said previously, and I'd like to read out what you said to DC Cam on page 53 and 54 in English. E3 slash 9113 and Khmer 00926385. 
Vous avez répondu à une question de Danny. And you answered a question that was put to you by Danny. En anglais. In English. We didn't know them. Nous ne les connaissions pas. Some of them did not say anything. Certains d'entre eux n'ont rien dit. And pretended to be deaf and mad. Et faisaient semblant d'être sourmuets. We did not believe them because mad people could not ride the boats. Nous ne les croyions pas parce que des fous ne pouvaient pas manœuvrer le bateau. It was impossible to have two or three mad people on the boats. Il était impossible d'avoir deux ou trois personnes. Finally, we sent them to the security officers to be in charge. We sent them to the division who would send them further. Question: Were all of them Vietnamese? Answer: Yes. 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 Question by Long Danny: Did you arrest them every month? Les arrêtiez-vous à chaque mois? Your answer. Réponse. Votre réponse. Well, during the two-year period, sur les deux ans, we caught them almost every month. Nous nous en attrapions presque tous les mois. Ils venaient à Kotan et Kowai. And of course. Fin de citation. Et je me corrige, j'avais dit sourd et muet, c'est plutôt well, sourd. Well, in fact, I'm going to correct myself. It wasn't deaf and dumb. It was deaf and mad, in fact. So, can you uh, confirm what you said to DC Cam in this interview? Is that what you indeed said to Long Dani? It was my statement to Long Dani. C'est ce que j'ai dit à Long Dani. But, but I would like to clarify that it was an information that I received from the division level. That the information on the activities of the enemies and on their tricks. So it was simply the information conveyed from the division to me. It was not. What I, what I did. Ce n'est pas quelque chose que j'ai fait personnellement. Est-il correct de dire selon vos déclarations que vous étiez essentiellement posté autour de Cote Mae? So is it true, according to your statements, that you were essentially stationed around Cote Mae and Cote Mae at night, and that you would return to Cote Mae and that you would return to Cote Mae during the day? Capet. In fact. I did not go out to base at Kose or Kotmai. En fait, je ne suis pas allé aux bases de Kose et Kotmai. But I, my task was to go out and to cross check. The de faire des sorties, the, uh, the, the numbers of vessels and the, et vérifier the exact activities the de there. Et les activités sur place. So in order to identify uh, Donc, which ship did si what, we put the num we gave the number to each ship to identify in order to be easy for us to report about their, their assignments and their activities. Witness, I don't have much time left, so I asked you if you would work essentially at night, that is say you would patrol at night around the islands, or would you work during the day? And my second question is, as far as you know, were there more arrests of Vietnamese vessels at night or during the day? Once a week, I went out on my mission at night time. Je faisais une mission nocturne hebdomadaire. And during my mission, I never encountered the Vietnamese boat in Cambodia's water. Because I think 
they were also aware that our boat was a military patrol boat, so if they entered de the water, si then they could face the, the sinking or the arrest from us. So I think the Vietnamese people was well aware of what would happen if they encountered with the military ship like ours. So I people who travel frequently on Donc, in, the, in the sea they, they were well aware of this matter navigate dans les eaux enfin sur ou en mer de façon régulière le savait très bien bien fine vous avez vous-même évoqué dans vos déclarations avoir vu deux fois that, la having seen twice the arrest of vietnamese refugees in 1977 in Koh Phangan notamment in euh, particular La réponse at answer 121 of your WRI before the OCIJ yesterday, you only spoke about one of these episodes. You spoke about a Vietnamese person and an Indian person whom uh, you saw being uh, arrested on the island. So can you tell us what you saw during the second incident Impliquant des femmes, which des involved et des selon les termes qui men, women, and children, based on uh, what you said in answer 123 of your WRI. What did you see? How many were there? Where did they come des... from? Uh, and were they detained? We clarified. De préciser what I gave in the statement came from the information, dans cette déclaration, and that information des informations came from the island sent to the division, and the division sent the instruction to vessels to be vigilant que la division avait envoyé au navire qui leur disait de faire preuve de vigilance so that information contain some information like the arrest of Dans people at Pulawai Islands il y avait par exemple des and other islands on parlait de l'arrestation de personnes but it was not euh, as i told you it was not my responsibility et comme je vous l'ai dit ce n'était pas ma responsabilité but yesterday you told us that you went to Pulawai during your training. And I'm going to quote what you said because here the use of the pronoun I seems quite clear to me. Answer 121. So you speak about the capture of the Vietnamese vessels. So the question, did Division 164 often carry out such arrests? Answer, no, it wouldn't do so that often. I remember having seen uh, this kind of arrest twice. Twice from my own eyes. Quand dans and when Pulauvai. I was on Pulawai Island once, question, 123, question 123, can you speak to us about the size of these vessels and about the number of people who were on board? Answer 123, I saw that these were Vietnamese refugees. There were men, women, and also children on board. When did you see all of this? I saw this in 1977, but I don't remember the day nor the month the exact day or the exact month. So can you tell us the approximate number of people who were arrested on these vessels? Answer 125. The first time they arrested between five to six Vietnamese, and there might have been more than that, but I have forgotten. End of quote, free translation. So here you're telling us that you saw this uh, with your own eyes. You're using the pronoun I everywhere in this statement. So, can you explain to us if you saw this with your own eyes or not? When I went to Pulwai Chah and Pulwai Tmei, I did not witness the arrest, but I witnessed the Vietnamese who were sitting vu, there uh, le Vietnam, le ou les qui assis and là. when I arrived there I saw them 
Et quand je suis arrivé, je les ai vus. Yeah, and there were five or six of them. Il y en avait cinq ou six. And and and, and that was what I saw, but I would like to clarify vu. that it was it was not under my responsibility. responsibility. And during the interview, I was in a situation in which. Pendant l'interview, when Danny asked me any question and then I had to answer, Danny m'a posé beaucoup de questions et j'ai dû répondre. And I had to answer based on what I knew. J'ai dû répondre sur la base de ce que je savais. Monsieur le témoin, witness, I'm not saying that that was your responsibility. That's not at all what I was saying. I was simply asking you to tell us what you saw or what you heard. You said that they were sitting there. Were they tied up? Were they detained? In fact, I saw the Vietnamese eating, they were eating rice and their hands were not tied up because they could use their hand to eat rice. So, at that time, uh, I packed my my vessels Donc, there in a, for, so that I could go to the toilets. And after that, I left that area. Et ensuite, je suis parti. Bien, j'en viens maintenant à la well, now chiffre, let me turn to your estimate of the number of Vietnamese who had been arrested by sailors uh, in the islands. That's question of 132 in your WRI before the OCIJ. And you answered... Uh, as far as I remember, they arrested more than 100 Vietnamese, free translation. And I think you're speaking here about the totality of the period. Do you remember having said that? And when you say more than 100, does that cover the entire period during which uh, you uh, were a captain aboard a, a, a vessel. I'm not saying that you yourself arrested Vietnamese people. I'm saying, did you hear about that? In fact, based on the information I received, Après les informations que j'ai and, and that information I gave in my statements during the interview with Long Dani. J'ai reçu des informations que j'ai relayées so dans le cadre de mon interview I avec Long Dani. I told Dani that I heard that information. J'ai dit à Dani que j'avais entendu parler de cela. And she recorded Et my voice. Cela a été enregistré. And she kept that doc and he kept that document until 2017 that I saw it, said the witness. En 2017, date à laquelle je l'ai vu. So the, the the statement that that I gave to Long Dani that you quoted donc, was really what I did say, but I just want to emphasize that dit, it was just an information I heard. Informations que j'avais entendu que je lui ai relayé. Nous avons bien compris cette partie-là de votre témoignage. We have understood, of course, that uh, part of your testimony, and we know that it was only information. This, in fact, so therefore, was a testimony before the OCIJ. Now, regarding this estimate, your estimate of uh, more than 100 Vietnamese people who were arrested, I'd like to know if you know if most of these Vietnamese people 
Les had been de la arrested by ships from the DK Navy or if they had been arrested Cambodge, by uh, infantry units that were stationed Cambodge. on uh, the various islands. Uh, <laughs> The arrest was carried out by soldiers based at islands. C'était les soldats qui étaient postés sur les îles qui les faisaient. No job, job, car. And those islands soldiers, they had their own vessels for patrol. So the arrest de was patrouille. not by the naval force. Donc ce n'était pas la marine qui avait fait l'arrestation. Bien. Fine. There is a witness, 2TCW823, who was leading the troops on Cortemay Island, and he said in his WRI E319 slash 23.3.3.21 at answer 124, he said the following. En anglais. In English, both units were in charge of capturing Vietnamese fishermen and seizing their boats. De My unit, stationed on the island, did not have the capacity to seize those Mon unité boats. When we entered into them, we would retreat. When we fired, we would retreat. When we fired, we would retreat. When we fired, we would retreat. Nous battions en retrait plutôt, et lorsque nous tirions, nous essayions de couler les navires. Nous n'essayons pas de faire pris. qui que ce soit prisonnier en mer. Fin de citation. Donc vous, so, vous dites que c'était les gens des îles qui arrêtaient, et lui, the arrests were carried out by the people on the islands, and he, le président, président, Council Consumon, you have the floor. Parole est à Consumon. La défense. I do not object this question, but I would like to make an observation related to what the co deputy co-prosecutor raised in the wording he used to the witness that he used the words I witness or I saw that the witness used in his statement to the le DC CAM, I noticed that there was a different translation in, in, in the use of the terms in, in Khmer and in English wasn't. In the Khmer verse, the word is jeung or we, but in the English translation is I. So this is different from what was quoted in the questions by the deputy co-prosecutor. For example, in document E3 slash 9111 3 is at 009286384 and in English 00974420684 that is the word or the phrase after And after that is the question by Daniel. Question when we Daniel. saw the boat, we saw the Quand Vietnamese nous avons in vu there. Is nous it? Avons vu les and Sarah so replies, we arrested them. Réponse. So nous this is just arrêté. an example to highlight the, the, the word used in the Khmer text. On dans le Khmer However, in the Khmer. English, contre, the translation is I, not we. Le so it becomes a personal in the nous. English translation, Donc, and this is my observation, Mr. President.
Monsieur le Président, le temps est compté. Mr. President, Je suis au milieu d'une question, en plein milieu d'une question, et nous avons question, une observation. Right in the middle Je ne crois pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, je ne pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, je ne crois pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, je ne crois pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, je ne crois pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, je ne crois pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, je ne crois pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, je ne crois pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, je ne crois pas que l'observation n'est pas pertinente, mais tout de même, Would allow me. Vous avez dit, Monsieur le témoin, que c'était les gens postés sur les îles, les troupes qui procédaient aux arrestations. Et nous avons ici un témoin de TCW qui a été arrêté. Nous avons écouté un témoin de TCW qui a été arrêté. Et nous avons écouté un témoin de TCW qui a été arrêté. Et nous avons écouté un témoin de TCW qui a été arrêté. Et nous avons écouté un témoin de TCW qui a été arrêté. Et nous avons écouté un témoin de TCW qui a été arrêté. Et nous avons écouté un témoin de TCW qui a été arrêté. Et nous avons écouté un témoin de TCW qui a été arrêté. Et nous avons écouté un témoin de TCW qui a Vietnamese fishermen and seizing their boats. We have two contradictory versions. Now tell me, was it the marine that was in charge of capturing boats? Or soldiers on the islands? Or were both the marines and the soldiers on the islands who captured the boats? Or one of the two? What is your answer to this question? Allow me to clarify the issue. There were uh, two categories of vessels. Il y avait deux catégories de navires. There is one a group that is the patrol uh, boats Un stationed at various islands, and their duty was to capture any boat encroaching the territorial seas. And in fact, there were uh, two uh, boats used for that purpose. They were uh, American uh, boats. And of course, it is the PCS boats. These two boats were tasked PCF, to patrol and seize any encroaching boat. And for us, our, our vessel was larger, so it uh, could not be used for that specific purpose. Our vessel consumes two tons of uh, fuel per hour. For that reason, it was not uh, applicable for a such a uh, Purpose. And such purpose was tasked uh, for those two PCS boats. And I do not know whether those people involved with those two boats are alive. I will look at the figure you gave that more than 100 Vietnamese were arrested during the time you spent in. Regiment 140, that is what you told the OCIJ investigators. Perhaps this figure and what Mies Mot himself says may be of some assistance. That's what he said to the hierarchy. It's document E3 slash 997. It's a secret. Communication on the 20th of March 1977, placed by Mies Mot to the very respected one eighty-nine. In number three of the document, this is what Mies Mot states. At Koh Tang Island, on March 20, 1978, our boat of 800 chevaux est allé travailler Our au sud-est de cette île à une distance de 12 km. To catch two Vietnamese. Moto Nous avons réussi à arraisonner deux bateaux vietnamiens sur lesquels il y avait beaucoup Vietnamese de Vietnamiens, people. au nombre de 70 en tout. Il y avait des vieux, Both des hommes et des femmes, old, tous confondus. Après que nous les avons attachés, When un petit canot s'est penché ce qui a fait the tomber deux personnes à l'eau. Nous n'avons pas pu les retrouver. Ils ont result, été amenés sur la terre ferme. Water, fin de citation. We were to find them. The rest was, have been brought to Première the main question, land. Uh, and vous avez dit que votre bateau était assez gros. Translation. Combien de chevaux, My question is, combien de chevaux disposait votre bateau 
what was the horsepower of your boat? I cannot recall the uh, horsepower of my vessel. However, there were five de machines and there uh, was one generator. The, the amongst those machines, there were uh, rather four large engines. Ces machines étaient plutôt pour des moteurs and the uh, fuel reserved uh, was 20 tons for that Et vessel, but I can cannot re recall de the uh, horsepower capacity of that vessel. What I can recall is that there, was, uh, there were four large engines. Deputy co-prosecutor, it seems that you uh, ran out of time. Co-procureur, apparemment, vous arrivez au terme du temps qui vous était imparti. Uh, oui, Monsieur le Président, je comptais laisser yes, Mr. President, 10 à 15 minutes, je crois. I was going civil, to give the civil parties 10 to 15 minutes. 5 à 10 minutes, comme vous nous avez so, dit à 10 heures. As you said, I will take 10 to 15 minutes to complete my Man, examination. No, your allotted time has concluded. No, and Councillor Copper, do you have the floor? That was exactly my observation, Mr. President. It's, it's, it's concluded uh, seven minutes ago. Monsieur le Président, si je peux me permettre, en Mr. français, President, nous avons entendu vos instructions à 10h10, qui disaient que nous avions encore une session. À 10h30, nous avions encore une session. C'est sur cette base-là que j'ai posé mes questions. You, Maintenant, you, si you c'est différent, je suis so ennuyé parce que j'ai encore des questions à poser que je n'ai pas pu poser. I am in the middle of my examination. I still have some questions to ask. Nous avons entendu les questions de la we actually informed you you already spent two and a half sessions already and that you only had a half session left. For that reason, you should actually arrange your questions to fit the allotted time. And for that reason, you are no longer given the floor. And also, the elite lawyer, please uh, be seated. And allow you to inquire with the uh, judge of the bench if you have questions to put to the uh, witness. And it seems that Judge oui. Lavergne had some uh, questions. You may proceed. Parti civil, veuillez vous asseoir. Maintenant, il y a des questions uh, du des juges. Monsieur le juge Lavergne, vous avez la parole. Oui, bonjour, monsieur le témoin. Yes, J'aurais quelques good questions goodness. à vous poser tout d'abord en ce qui concerne ce que vous avez dit hier par rapport aux relations entre le Kampuchea démocratique et le Vietnam. Et tout d'abord sur start, les conflits qui ont pu like survenir dans les eaux territoriales du Kampuchea. Hier, vous avez dit qu'au début de l'année 75, in early 1975, there was chaud a hot battle du du between the Vietnamese troops and the Democratic Kampuchea troops. Can you tell us exactly what you were referring to when you said there was a hot battlefield and what happened? When I use the, the word hot in this uh, context, is that context, in early 1975, although I cannot recall it exactly, that it could happen in April, there was a fighting between the forces of Vietnam and of Democratic Kampuchea at the islands. Vietnamese forces arrested 720 DK soldiers and detained them in Kortral. The negotiation took place in 1977 between DK and the Vietnamese authority, and as a result, those detainees or prisoners of war were returned to Kampuchea.
Euh, Peut-être que je n'ai pas très bien compris, mais ces Perhaps soldats du camp de démocratique avaient-ils été arrêtés exactement ils avaient été arrêtés alors qu'ils étaient sur des îles cambodgiennes ou est-ce qu'ils étaient sur des îles vietnamiennes, en tous les cas des îles qui étaient disputées. The arrest actually uh, took place on the islands of Pulawai Chak and Pulawai Khmer, which, uh, which belongs to uh, Cambodia, that is, it was part of the Cambodian territorial waters. Et à votre connaissance, est-ce que les troupes du Cambodia étaient allées Did prendre position sur des îles qui étaient disputées et qui étaient préalablement occupées par le Vietnam. In 1975, 1975 the forces of Democratic Cambodia reached control. However, the Vietnamese troops uh, did not allow them to, to enter. For that reason, the DK forces returned from control. Alors, peut-être que pour moi, c'est pas très clair. Well, Est-ce que me, vous connaissez les îles sous leur nom vietnamien et notamment l'île de Phukok ou l'île de Tochu Est-ce que, Fukok and ce, Tochu à votre connaissance, les forces euh, du Cambodge démocratique sont les prendre position sur ces did îles Les forces du Cambodge démocratique position sur ces îles Your Honor, uh, please uh, repeat the names of those uh, islands. To me, it's not uh, that clear. L'île de Phukok, Phukok Island, l'île de To Chu, and To Chu Island, To Chau, or To Chau. To my knowledge, I do not know the names of these islands in Vietnamese language. What I know is Koh Trol, Koh Tun Sai, Koh Pulawai Cha, Koh Pulawai Thmai, and Koh Krajo Se. I do not know the names in Vietnamese language for these islands. Et sur ces îles qui, selon vous, and appartiennent au Cambodge, est-ce qu'il y avait des civils vietnamiens Were there any Vietnamese civilians on them In 1975, those islands whose names that I mentioned there were no Vietnamese civilians living there. There were no inhabitants on Pul Wai Cha and Pul Wai Thmai Islands. However, there were marks that ships or vessels anchored on these islands. The troops got off the uh, uh, vessel and uh, positioned themselves on the islands and the information that I received from them was that there were no Vietnamese inhabitants on these islands. Donc, si je comprends bien, so if I understand you correctly, Mr. Witness, what you are saying is that it was the Vietnamese armed forces uh, force that came and attacked the forces uh, of democratic Cambodia and, 
arrested des soldats des and forces du camp putschien démocratique. The DK forces. Est-ce que vous savez pour quelles raisons les do, forces armées vietnamiennes se sont comportées de la sorte Do you know why the Vietnamese armed forces did that What I uh, know is that there was a, a an attack at the time, and the Vietnamese troops deployed several uh, vessels to surrender uh, the islands, to uh, cut off the transportation uh, vessels. For that reason, the uh, DK troops were isolated and cut off from, from logistics and food supply. Vietnamese deployed their ships and troops to surrender des, des the uh, island and seized or arrested those Khmer Rouge troops. Donc, l'attaque, puisque vous avez parlé du mot attaque, Since à l'origine, c'était une attaque lancée par les troupes Khmer so ou par les troupes vietnamiennes. Was initially launched by Khmer troops. Or by Vietnamese troops. So, yeah, uh, Kang Khmer, no lure to Patai, the Cambodian troops were on their sovereign island. Cambodians se trouvaient sur leur île souveraine. And actually, the attack was instigated by the other party through their uh, troops and their vessels. Of course, we did not uh, initiate an attack on their uh, sovereign territorial waters. D'attaque sur leurs eaux territoriales souveraines. Et vous avez participé à, à ces combats And you Vous étiez présent Ou c'est quelque chose dont vous avez simplement entendu parler Were you present Or that is something you merely heard someone mention No, I was not present there. Non, non, je n'étais pas présent là-bas. I only heard of uh, this information through soldiers who were uh, arrested at Gautro and when they returned uh, they spoke about that event. Est-ce que vous étiez présent lorsqu'il y a eu l'arraisonnement du navire Mayagez? When the boat, the Mayagez, was captured? No, I was not present non, je uh, when the Magic ship was uh, seized. Lors de At that de time, I did not uh, have any vessel under my à supervision, je and actually, I was stationed en fait, on shore with the division. At that time, the division actually had not yet organized a, a navy force. Je voudrais également revenir sur ce que vous avez dit like hier à yesterday, propos de la déportation de Vietnamiens vers le Vietnam. Vietnam. Hier, vous avez dit, yesterday, je ne me souviens pas quand la déportation de Vietnamiens s'est produite, mais je sais qu'il y en a eu, et vous avez mentionné une déportation qui serait intervenue en 1973 et vous avez dit qu'à cette époque-là, il y avait eu des combats et vous avez également mentionné une déportation qui serait survenue en 1975 et une autre en 1976. Alors, j'aimerais qu'on revienne tout d'abord sur la déportation dont vous avez fait état en 1973. Qu'est-ce que, euh, qu -ce que vous pouvez nous dire à propos de cette déportation Qui avait décidé qu'elle devait avoir lieu Et est-ce que vous savez combien de personnes ont été déportées vers le Vietnam Je ne sais pas si c'est la question. In 1973, 
1973. Ces combats ont redoublé d'intensité. And the the clash was between uh, the military forces et against the uh, Vietcong military forces, forces and not the Vietnamese Viet civilians. Those uh, Vietcong forces actually uh, took refuge se sont in the territory of Kampuchea the and then they clashed with the DK forces. The Vietnamese uh, troops les troupes vietnamiennes were stationed there étaient postées là-bas sur décision Tamok. de Tamok. At that time, I was an ordinary combatant, à cette époque-là, moi, j'étais combattant ordinaire. Uh, hand -hand et tout ce que je savais, c'était mon expérience contre at les Vietnamiens at, at Long Vang, à Chu, à Long Vang, à District. dans le district de Chukmi. And here I refer to the combats Ici, between the DK military forces against the Vietnamese forces in 1923. Later on, he said that we should not engage in combat with these people and allow them to be stationed at uh, uh, the border that is at Trunim Mountain in Tugni district. But I cannot recall the actual number of those Vietnamese uh, troops. Exact de troupes vietnamiennes. Quand vous dites il nous a dit qu'il ne devait plus y avoir de combat, vous faites référence à qui Vous faites référence à Tamok ou à quelqu'un d'autre Or rather, when you say he, um, who said there wasn't going to be a deportation, what are you referring to To Tamok or to who exactly When I use the word they, I do not mean Tamok. I refer to the uh, Vietnamese troops. You were a member of the forces of the Southwest at the time. Who commanded the Southwest forces? Was it Miasmut or Tamok? The commander in charge in the uh, southwest zone was Tamok, since he was the uh, chief of the zone. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous a dit Tamok par rapport à Now, cette situation Est-ce que Tamok était d'accord pour que les forces armées Vietcong restent sur le territoire du Cambodge ou est-ce qu'il n'était pas d'accord From what I knew at the time, I was that there was, uh, it was not clear to me uh, regarding the relationship between the Vietnamese troops and Tamok, or whether there was any discussion that the troop class between the Vietnamese troops and Tamok. However, Uh, my unit uh, engaged in combat with the Vietnamese troops. A livré combat aux And what I can recall is that Tamok made with a uh, Tamok military a commander on the Vietnamese side. Du côté And his name is uh, Bai Sơn for Bai the uh, negotiation. Pour les négociations. Later on, there was another representative, uh, Bao Bao, who Bao Bao, led the negotiation with the Tamok for the Vietnamese troops Tamok. to be allowed to stay pour at the Tangien Mountain. Bien. Vous avez parlé d'une déportation. Well. Est-ce qu'il y a eu une déportation de uh, civils was there a deportation of civilians in 1973 
certains régiments Vietcong qui ont quitté le territoire du Cambodge. What I say is not meant to the deportation of the uh, civilians. I refer to the uh, Vietcong troops who took refuge in uh, Kampuchi in various uh, locations and that they acted inappropriately towards the uh, Kampuchean people. And also, this is compounded by the fact that uh, we clashed uh, with them. We were part of the uh, military unit in Kampot, and we clashed with the Vietnamese troops in the area. And actually, the uh, clash uh, lasted for Et more than a fortnight. Then I saw the arrival of a Tamok at Tamok the uh, battlefield. He uh, told us that we uh, stopped uh, fighting them since they agreed to take uh, their uh, troops under uh, the supervision of uh, Baiser or ba Bao to uh, settle at uh, Phnom Lengien. And actually, Phnom Lengien or Lengien Mountain uh, was located in Trugmi district, which is adjacent to the Cambodian-Vietnam border. Savez-vous si à un moment donné, les troupes Viet Cong ont totalement disparu du territoire du Cambodge Et si oui, à quelle date Cambodian territory, and if yes, on what date? Uh, when you uh, talk about uh, the area, it was large in scale geographically, and I can only speak about uh, my area that my unit was involved in. I cannot recall the exact date that uh, they uh, disappeared from uh, Cambodian territory. At the time, I was not in a position to have a, a greater uh, knowledge regarding uh, the day of their disappearance. What I knew uh, is that there were classes and that later on the uh, Viet Cong troops were sent to that uh, designated area that I mentioned earlier. Vous avez ensuite parlé donc de deux autres déportations, une qui serait survenue en 1975 et une autre en 1976. Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire sur, concernant ces déportations Est-ce que cela concernait des euh, civils Did they concern et, euh, civilians? Est-ce que les ordres venaient And de l'échelon supérieur were the orders Comment ça s'est passé by the upper echelons. How exactly did it happen? Through my knowledge, and here I refer uh, only to the information relayed uh, from the upper level, that is through the division, through the regimental level, and through my level. I do not know uh, actually uh, how many Je civilians or how many uh, soldiers uh, there were. Alors, comment se well, que vous avez how is it that you were able to tell us that there were deportations in 75 and in 76? What do you know about these deportations? Est-ce que vous en avez été le témoin? Did you witness them? Vous avez reçu des or did you receive orders regarding them? Allow me to uh, clarify it again. 
Je clarifie à nouveau. That was the information that I received, and I personally did not involved in je pas this matter. Je pas I only received information je des that the upper echelon had to uh, return the girls of Vietnamese to Vietnam. But there was no clear indication as to the exact number or the date that they had to be returned. Did you hear about a program that consisted in exchanging people of Vietnamese origin against uh, Cambodians from Kampuchea Kraum? No, I did not know about that. Si j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit, well, après avril 1975, vous êtes arrivé dans la région de Kampong Som, de Ho Chi Minh, vous êtes arrivé à Ho Chi Minh et ensuite sur les îles. À votre connaissance, as as you know, aux endroits où vous étiez. Est-ce qu'il y avait were des personnes d'origine vietnamienne Et si oui, est-ce que ces personnes ont fait l'objet d'une déportation case, were these people deported? To my knowledge and from what I can recall, after I ah, left Phnom Penh and, and arrived in Kampong Sao, initially I was a station near Konkeng and Field. And after the uh, Navy Force uh, was organized, I was uh, assigned to be stationed on the island of Kung Korong San Lam. And my personal uh, encounter at the time is that I only saw Cambodian people and not the Vietnamese people. Pas de Here I refer to uh, the time that I was stationed near Koh Kaen Field, and while I was on Koh Rong Samlam. I did not see uh, any civilian inhabitants, even the uh, Cambodian fishermen did Même not remain at the island to be all returned to Kampong Sao. Et avez-vous entendu quoi and que ce soit par rapport au traitement qui pouvait être réservé aux civils vietnamiens qui auraient habité dans ces régions? Personally, I did not receive uh, such information. Je pas reçu de telles, euh, informations. I did not have anything to do with that. Je rien I à did avec not cela. know if there were uh, Vietnamese living uh, at any si specific location. I was not involved Je in pas this, nor did I receive cela. information Je non plus regarding reçu this matter. À ce sujet. Well, fine, Mr. President, I'll have further questions to put to the witness, but I think it's now time to take the break. President, uh, thank you. It is now appropriate for our lunch break. We take uh, a break now and resume at 1.30 this afternoon. Court officer, please assist the witness at the waiting room reserved for witnesses during the lunch break and invite him as well as his future counsel back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are instructed to take Kyo Sampong to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess. Vous levez?